Peter Piper picked a Peruvian purple pepper in Persia. Hello, everybody. This is a third YouTube video from me. Uh, again, I'm not the best YouTuber in the world. I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to do all that cool technological stuff. All I know how to do is quite literally just be Jordan Hallett, Jordan the Stallion, Jordan the Dump Truck, Jordan the Robot, however you guys want to call me. Uh, totally up to you. But I want to thank you guys so much because we started this page at 300 subscribers. We are now at almost 4,000 subscribers as of yesterday. And I have no idea how to act. One of those funny, on TikTok, I have 5.5 million followers and I love every single one of them. For some reason, I never thought I could be a good YouTuber, ever. I, I still kind of don't. I really don't know how to do this whole thing. But the fact that you guys like me at least enough to follow and subscribe, it makes me feel a little like special. It makes me feel special, right? When people are like, oh, sir, what's wrong with you? I'd be like, I have 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. Don't talk to me. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, sir, you can't just leave without paying. I'm like, I have 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. Don't talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Or they're like, oh, my gosh, sir, you cannot wear sweats to this formal event. I'm like, I have 4,000 subscribers. You know what I mean? Like, you get that. You get that. <laughs> so this video here is going to be uh, what eating at these fast food places say about you. This is a part two to that because you guys wanted that video and I'd love to give that to you. Now, full disclaimer, this video, if, if you guys are worried like, oh my gosh, is this video going to insult me? Is it gonna make me feel terrible? Is it gonna make me whatever? I'm just here to reassure you. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Is it gonna be like, oh my gosh, is it, am I gonna feel super judged by it? Come here. Absolutely. And it's okay. Want to know why? Because I eat at literally all these places I'm going to mention to you. I eat at all of them. So don't don't even get worried about it. My diet consists of pain, stress, being 25, and fast food. So don't worry about it. Um, so we're going to start off strong with number one, Wendy's. If you eat at Wendy's, you can't make a decision to save your life. You literally hope for other people to make decisions for you, right? And if you have to make a decision, you make the safest decision possible. You don't make the fun one, you make the safe one, right? If you eat at a Wendy's, the one thing that you don't know how to do properly, right, is, is interrupt anybody else, right? Is to actually speak your mind when you wanna speak your mind. You kinda just go with the flow. You don't know how to say no to people, right? Uh, which again, don't get me wrong. I, like I said, I'm, that's quite literally me. That's who I am. So don't worry about it. Uh, number two, Carl's Jr. If you eat at Carl's Jr., you like doing the opposite of what everyone else is doing. You hate trends, right? If you see some, if you see that everybody loves wearing glasses, you will, you will go to the grave blind. You don't want to wear glasses. You would never wear glasses in your life. If a doctor was like, you need to wear glasses to survive, you'll be like, then bury me now. That's who you are if you eat at a Carl's Jr. If you, if you eat at Hardee's, if you eat at a Hardee's, you thought something like 20 years ago was super cool and you just won't let it go. Like if you had a, if you eat at a Hardee's, right? I promise you you still think flip phones are cool. What flip phones are cool actually, don't get me wrong. I've ate at a Hardee's a couple times so I guess that holds weight, right? Ooh, number 4. Arby's. Come here. Do I need to do I need to explain what eating at Arby's says about you? I'm gonna just let you guys feel ashamed if you eat there. The uh, <laughs> next one, Panda Express. If you eat at Panda Express, I'm gonna just tell you this right now, nobody likes eating food with you. If you eat at Panda Express, you eat too loudly. If you eat at Panda Express, right, you love the idea of going out and golfing. Does that make sense? You have a let's go and golf personality. Right. That means like you you purposely don't do fun stuff because you want to be special. Does that make sense? You're one of you're like you're the type of person that's like, let's drink sparkling water instead of juice because it seems like adultish. That's what eating at Panda Express is kind of like for you right there. Right. I'll throw this extra one in there. If you eat at a California pizza kitchen, now mind you, clearly this is specifically towards Californians. If you eat at a California pizza kitchen, just don't hang out with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I I've only met like four people that actually eat at a California pizza kitchen. They, you know what I mean? And I was like, who are you? They don't even seem real. And one of the fun part, I talk so much mess about California pizza kitchen. Every time I walk by one, I'm like, no one eats in there. I ate in there yesterday. It was the most fantastic meal I had in my life, actually. Um, they had a lunch special. It was great. I felt full. I felt fantastic. And at the end of it, it was only like a $20 bill. So I was like, you know what? I guess I like California pizza kitchen. Mind you. At all the things I'm explaining to you right now, I pretty much am. I'm a pretty unbearable person. Um, 
I'm trying to think if there's any other ones that people in the comments wanted me to, to, to talk about or mention, but I'm drawing a blank right now. So if you guys want me to talk about any other fast food places, leave a comment on uh, below on the video. <laughs> and also, this is a message for anybody that works at any of these food places. If you message me, if you message me saying, oh, I feel some type of way about your video, oh, take the video down, I will never take the videos down. I'm sorry, I'm mm, that got a little intense, but let me tell you why that got intense. Because the first video I did, a McDonald's worker and a Chipotle worker, they messaged me saying, oh, I don't like the way you did that, take that down, come here, look. Let me get let me get real with y'all. Don't tell me what to do. That gets under my skin. I'd much rather have you take everything I own. I, if you broke into my car and took my car, I'd be like, hey, that's life. That's life, right? If you set my house on fire, that's life. You know, I can't do nothing about that. If you tell me what to do, I can't do it. I can't do it. So, um, yeah, like I said, if. I'll take full criticism from people who eat at those places. If you work at these places and you message me 